Hello, this is Bern, and if you want to stop feeling lonely once and for all this holiday season, stick around because I'm going to be sharing with you how to accomplish this in my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life TV.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave, and I am super excited because today I'm going to be sharing with you how to stop feeling lonely this holiday season. Every time I have a one-on-one -on -one with a woman and I'm trying to diagnose what's going on inside her heart and why she's not getting the love she wants, I ask her many questions. One of those questions always is, when do you feel the most pain around not finding the love of your life? When do you feel the most pain around not contributing, not feeling loved, not feeling adored, not feeling that deep bond of companionship and friendship and having someone uh, who's your lover and makes you feel like a goddess, all those things. And most women tell me, about maybe 60 to 70 percent that one of those times is around the holidays. So I thought to myself, if many of you are feeling pain around the holidays unnecessarily, I want to give you a four step process to reverse this and not only reverse this, but start getting well on your path to finding your soulmate as a result of the pain, not in spite of the pain, as a result of the pain. So here's step number one. I want you to listen to the message that your pain is giving you because it's so common to go into one of two different routes. One is taking it to where you feel the pain and you let yourself go and you go in this downward, dark, shitty spiral of depression and then you don't do anything to change your life. You just stay stuck there for a couple of days, sometimes for a couple of weeks. That's one way to go about it. Another way to go about it that's very common is you numb the pain. You just numb it. You just don't want to feel the pain so you turn on TV, you text someone, you do something silly and then you stop feeling the message. But either way, it's not getting you closer to having the connection and the depth with someone. So if you listen to your pain's message, maybe your pain is telling you that you need to connect to more men. Maybe your pain is, te pain is telling you that you've connected to enough men, you just want deeper connections with some of them. Maybe your pain is telling you that you need to widen your circle because around you, you're not seeing that quality guy that you want to connect with, but you've been too comfortable. And as a result of not getting out of your circle of influence, you're stuck feeling that all guys are losers, right? But it's really you not expanding and going beyond your comfort zone. So whatever your pain is telling you, I want you to write it down and acknowledge it in your heart. Because step number two is I want you to vividly visualize what you really want. It's clear that it's clear to you what you don't want. I mean, you know what you don't want, but sometimes if you don't have a clear, strong, powerful, emotionally, charged vision of what's possible, you're not going to do anything to change it. Because if part of your brain, part of your heart is say, feeling, no matter what I do, I'll stay stuck in this hole, then the likelihood that you're going to take action is very small. And chances that you're going to stay stuck in a situation where you're not with the love of your life is going to be pretty high. So if you change this by vividly imagining what you want, close your eyes and really go deep don't feel, I mean, don't get concerned right now as to how you're going to make this happen. I want you to first simply go inside and discover what you want with clarity. Clarity that makes you excited. Clarity that makes you want to wake up earlier the next day to figure out how to do it, you know? So first uh, step number two is that imagination, connect to what you want. Now, that is not enough. A lot of people, not just women, men, feel like the law of attraction is powerful enough to get you what you want. And I think that's BS. If you vividly imagine what you want, but you don't take action, it's not going to happen. So step number three is simply that. Get off your ass and do something to make it happen. And to make it super practical so it doesn't seem just like a fun chit chat you and I are having but doesn't create the results in your life, I want you right now to write four things. Take out a piece of paper, write down four things that you could be doing to create the love and the connection you want but you're not really doing right now. And I want you to write the four of them. I want you to choose one, circle it and do it today. Within the next 24 hours, I want you to do that one. The other three, you can figure out how to do them, put them in your calendar during the next seven days. So you have one today within 24 hours. If it's late at night, I'll give you a little bit more, a few more hours in the morning, but figure out how to do that one and then give yourself at least six more days to do the other three. Number four, <laughs> once you're taking action, once you're figuring out what you want, once you're listening to your heart, instead of numbing the pain, I want you to have this as your mantra, be the light, contribute more. Here's the, the truth. The truth is, if you've conditioned your heart to feel pain during the holiday season, you've connected to the sadness as a way of creating more feeling of connection inside yourself. So this same feeling, this same need of connecting can be met 
if you become the source of light for somebody else, if you become the source of giving, if you become the source of affection, if you become the source of enthusiasm, the source of light, knowledge, praise, uh, smiles for someone, it doesn't take much to change someone's life. You just have to have the intention, you have to be willing to, whenever you start feeling that pain, and you recognize what the pain is giving you, and you're taking action to get what you want, instead of going that downward spiral, do something for someone. Become the kind of human being that everybody wants to be around, and you'll be surprised the kind of people, situations, and events that start coming into your life. I hope this is helpful. If you find that it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or on your screen right here, there's gonna be a button that appears that allows you to sign up for my free live webinar that's going to give you a blueprint to find your soulmate in nine days or less. Super powerful and it's free. If you have any questions for me, write a comment below this video and let me know what your question is and I'll either answer it personally or record a video just for you. Thank you so much and as always, I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.